just a video of me standing there with the drone um, pulling away. Pretty straightforward video, but what we're going to do is um, we're going to add a zoom in effect on top of this. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go right here to this little paper icon. If you can't see the paper icon, try dragging this out and it should reveal itself. And also make sure you're in the project window. So paper icon, adjustment layer, should already be set, okay. Drag it onto your clip, drag it to the length of the clip. Now we're gonna add a zoom in effect, so we want this adjustment layer to be as long as the original clip. Now the first thing you're gonna do is go to left, effects, transform. Now this is under video effects, distort, and transform tool. Um, we're gonna click this, drag it onto the adjustment layer. Now just for ease of mind, we are going to rename this layer to zoom in. And I believe this effect would, once this is finished, it would be called the vertigo effect. Um, you zoom in and um, back up or dolly out as you're zooming in and it creates this sense of like unease and whatnot. Uh, and there's no color here, but we'll get the color there. Okay, so let's go ahead and go over here to the left hand side. So we're on the transform. Now we're on the first frame. So we want this, let's go ahead and start with the last frame. That'll be easier. So one frame in, we're on the transform and we're gonna zoom this in. So probably Let's just do 300 just because we can. 300. And we're going to click this little icon. This is going to toggle the animation. And then in addition, it's going to add a little keyframe here. So see that little icon? That's a keyframe. Now we're going to go all the way to the beginning. And we're going to click zero. This just reset it to zero, which is 100. It's our default. So now let's go ahead and play it. See how crazy it looks? It looks like the world is, you know, getting isolated around me. Like a shark's gonna jump out. It was actually used in the movie Jaws. Um, it's a really good effect for creating like unease, just cause it, just compressing the image essentially. Now, this would be a digital zoom. Um, uh, ideally a zoom in, um, in camera. So like zooming in the lens while dollying out, you will retain more of the quality of your image on a digital zoom. If you're not shooting on a high sensor, a high megapixel sensor, um, you're going to get a lot of like grain and whatnot. So that is pretty much it. Um, but we're going to add some color to this. We could take it a step further. Let's go ahead and add another adjustment layer. We'll call this one rename. This one will be called um, Rec 709. Oh, Rec 709. Then we're going to copy this. You hold down Option and click it and drag up. So now you have two duplicates. We're going to rename this uh, Color Correction. Sick. Okay, and then we're going to copy this. Rename. It does seem like a lot of work. And then we're going to type this. Uh, let's go for something dramatic. So we'll call this, I want a dramatic style. We're going to go for like, um, well, it'll be called styles. But we're going to try to go for dramatic, a dramatic style. All right, Rec 709. So this is shot on a drone. So we're going to go to color. And um, for those of you that know already, we're going to try to get this to Rec 709 via a LUT. So there's a bunch. 
I don't know what this one is. These are a bunch of defaults. Um, I'm going to go to Browse. And I have some in a folder here. Um, or I think on my desktop, actually. Look, Mavic 3 D-Log to Rec 709. Um, it's called D-Log just because that's um, the brand's name. Um, so I shot it in D-Log, but it's Log. Same thing. All right, this is what it looks like, pretty wonky. Um, before we adjust that, we're gonna see if we could save it in this color correction panel. Look at that, highlights are way too high. So first things first, let's just drag this entire exposure down. Drag them highlights down. Let's drag the blacks barely in. Okay, I want some contrast. Okay, this looks good. We're going to go back to the Rec. 709 tab. We're going to go to Effects. I'm just going to put the opacity to 70. Let's see how that looks. Let's go back to Color Correction. Let's go back to the Lumetri Scopes. I think that looks pretty cool. Um, I'm going to drag some of the blacks down. Some of the shadows down. I think I still want to lower this. Let's drag some of the whites. So it looks pretty standard right now. Um, yeah, it looks pretty cool. Pretty standard. Um, I think I still could add a little more. Maybe let's tone down this contrast, but let's add in some more blacks. A little more shadow. And we could always play with this later too, so don't feel um, obligated to keep something. I'm going to go back to the Rec. 709 tab. Go to Effects Controls. Let's stay at 70, and I think that's okay. Let's go ahead and let this play. So nothing too crazy. We're going to add some styling. Um, let's see if we could uh, just find something good quick for sake of time. Monochrome. Okay, none of these is doing it. Let's go click none. Now we'll just make our own. Um, I would probably push the shadows to maybe like greenish. Sharpen everything a bit. Maybe something right there. Uh, let's not mess with that. Oh, my bad. Here's the midtones. That's what I was looking for. Sometimes I forget where things are. So, midtones. Oh, right here somewhere is a sweet spot for midtones. Shadows. And I want to drag these shadows down because I want them dark. I want it uneasy, remember? Um, same with the highlights. Let's drag the highlights down. I really wish I retained some. Um, detail on the clouds, but that's kind of hard with the drone. Um, 
I should have probably underexposed this image. It probably would have been nicer. Let's see how that looks. Let's go full screen. Cool. Um, let's take this a step further. Let's go to project, adjustment layer. I swear this is the last adjustment layer. Now, since we have like a zoom in going on, actually, you know what? I'm gonna increase Rec 709. Or maybe decrease. I'll leave it. I'll leave it. Okay. I'll leave it. I can play with this all day. Um, but anyways, let's go back. Now we're going to add um, a little mask. So I believe it is this one. Let's see how it comes. I want to isolate myself. And what this does is it just um, feathers the mask. Let me see if I can get it to rotate. Something like that. Um, and this is just going to enhance the effect of everything closing in. Um, let's see if I did this right real quick. basic correction and I should just be able to go down like this you don't want that but I'm gonna leave it like that so it shows us how to fix it real quick let's invert this there we go so that's what we want but we want the feather to be way more and that's obviously way enhanced so we're gonna go to opacity probably 30 and let's enhance this feathering. Let's push that feathering even more. And let's play this. That looks pretty cool. Um, let's make it a little darker. And let's go ahead and isolate me even more so I feel smaller. Let's play that back. Cool. That is pretty cool. Feels very uneasy. And what could you do to make this better? Um, what we could do again is on the styling. I think I already added it though. Yeah, you could add sharpening. Um, maybe not all the way like that, but you got like to 20.3. We'll see how that is. Um, sometimes sharpening adds a lot of grain. And what we did is we add basically a vignette by hand. But you also have a preset down here where you could add a vignette. All right, and say we were completely done with this and we already knew it was good to go. No second guessing, no color, nothing else. You right click and you can nest it and it'll just flatten this all in one. So now it's all ease of mind. Um, I rarely do this unless I know I'm done. Uh, I suggest you do the same so you don't have to go back to it. Alright, see you guys in the next video.